Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I will show you 10 more tips and tricks that could be helpful for you. Let's just get right into the video. Tip number 1. You actually get turret and grenade mastery when you place or throw them. Per grenade throw you get 5 mastery XP and when you kill a zombie with it you get 10 XP. Unfortunately turret mastery is bugged and you only get 100 mastery XP by placing them and not if the turret kills a zombie. Tip number 2. If you have a black key and you dropped a black box in your game, you can open the box and if you get something you don't like, you can just close the game and reopen it to save your black key by clicking the open later or discard option when the black box appears again. You should always do this when you only have one key left. Tip number 3. If you have the Fallen, then you can triple your damage if the projectiles hit the corner of any object. This makes the Fallen actually viable for any situation in the game, no matter if mobbing or bossing. But especially for bossing it's arguably the best gun in the game, since it can hit lots of enemies and you can also extend its clip sights to 3 by using at least one Mastered on Armor piece. Tip number 4. If your teammates were too fast in zombie parts and you had no chance to pick up the loot in the secret room before the boss room, then you can still get the loot if you have Gloves Mastery 4, since it gives you a 50% pickup radius bonus. And it also works on other spots like on this vaccine spot, but I'm pretty sure that there are more situations where this could be helpful. Tip number 5. If you want to level up a specific armor mastery, then you can just wear one piece of that armor you want to level up and keep the other pieces unequipped. Having only one armor piece equipped will only level up that mastery. Once you choose which mastery you want to level up, simply go to any faction and play the elimination mode. Since it doesn't take that long till zombies will start spawning and all you have to do now is to get killed by them. The reason we do this in factions is because you always win no matter which mode you play and this makes the armor master we grind really easy and fast. Tip number 6. If you don't want to rely on exploits to reset your nightmare tickets, then playing power out would be the perfect choice for you, since you have a chance to get more bosses at the end which both will drop their loot which shouldn't happen, but it does since it's a bug from last update where Ninja Kiwi tried to fix savage necrosis spawns in some maps. And speaking of savage necrosis, you can also get a savage necrosis elite below level 396, which has a 50 15% chance to drop a core from its nanos, which is just insane if you think about it. And the best part is, you only have to kill the main necrosis to finish the game, because the game doesn't detect the necro spawns for some reason, so it's even more insane and stupid. Tip number 7. Certain guns like the Jupiter, Contagion and the, the Festungsbrecher or how the fuck you say it have a mechanic called Pierce Blast Effect. It's a unique gun mechanic that's intentional and not a bug that happens on guns which pierce normally but have a blast effect upon every pierce. That's where the name came from by the way. Anyways, those explosions can hit other nearby targets, so guns with this mechanic can increase single target DPS by hitting multiple cluster with targets. I will link a video in the description which explains this mechanic way better than me if you didn't understand what I said or if you just want to know more about this mechanic. Tip number 8. If you are playing VIP then you can activate the helicopter pad with the assault team skill without having the VIP walking over it. This can be good if you have assault team for some reason and your teammates just don't want to move the VIP to the helicopter pad to end the game. If you don't have assault team then please do me a favor and don't get it. It's a waste of skill points since there are better options to choose from. Tip number 9. If you had all planets captured in your faction when the war ended, then you can actually keep getting planet tokens if you don't press on the faction screen for a certain time. I did this trick while not touching the faction button for about 2-3 to three weeks and the results are crazy. In the past I tried this for months but I never got the loot so I recommend you to click on the faction button after 2 weeks if you want to be sure. 
Before we get to the last tip, I want to make an honorable mention, which is to join our Discord server if you are looking for up-to-date guides for the best skills, weapons or armor for example, or if you just simply need people to play with. I know, you might think it's useless to join our Discord server, but trust me, you won't regret it, since you can be 100% sure that our information is always up-to-date and you can get all your answers really fast. Since the server is more active than ever and it's easy for us to update our guides than making a new video, which takes hours to make. So instead of losing in quick matches all the time, you can just get carried if you wish so. Tip number 10. If you want to grind event points fast, then you should follow this tip. In Apocalypse, you should disconnect once wave 20 starts, since waves take longer and you get the same amount of points per wave, so you lose efficiency if you play longer. This obviously also depends on your setup, so technically you could disconnect at like wave 30 if your setup is max chord, but if you're not, then just disconnect at wave 20. On last man standing, you should play with a level 15 medic since the other players who join your game would be low levels as well and more likely to get killed by zombies faster and this way you can get first place fairly easy to maximize your points gain. Obviously your medic will gain XP and level up from time to time but it should last for a pretty long time until your medic hits about level 30. You can just make a new medic once that's the case. It should take about 1 to 2 hours and it's a lot better than playing with a high level account. On virus samples you just have to collect as many samples as possible. As Assault would be the best option for that and the higher level you are and better gear you have, the better you can grind. If you start dying a lot then I would recommend you to disconnect and find a new game. And those were my top 10 tips and tricks for you guys. If you enjoyed this video then I'm pretty sure you will also enjoy the videos shown on screen right now. Thanks for watching.